So welcome back. So Angular is into types. Right now we just made some basic objects, JavaScript objects, call them what you want. This could actually be, I could put anything in here. There's no type safety. So I could put in, um, I could put in a new field here called uh, age and nobody would complain. And I could even make it as a string, even if it's a number, it wouldn't matter. I could add that here and then down here I could add something completely different like uh, time check. I don't know what that is, but I could put that in there and I could call it uh, a date. Again, I don't know why I would do it, but I could. So notice there's no safety, there's no type safety about how these model objects would look. I could put anything in anywhere. Um, let me just add this as a crazy date like this. It would actually be a string. Okay. How do we make that? How do we make sure that you can't just put anything in here that you want? Well, we have to use something called type safety and uh, we can make our own model objects inside Angular. So I've made a new file here and you just right click, say new, say file, and then you just put in whatever name you want. And in my case, I called it course, a single course dot TS, right? It already exists. And then you say, okay, and this file pops up. Now in here, I went in and I made a very important statement here. I said, I want to export this to anybody who wants to use it. That's what this means. Anybody who wants to use the course class, they can do it by importing it in their code. We'll do that in a second. This is going to be what we call a class and it's going to be called course. Notice the capitalized course for being a class in TypeScript. It's going to start here and end here. And then we're going to define all the properties that are available for a course right now. A year, a title, an education, a lecture, and what academy the course is for. Each of these properties is going to be some kind of type, like this is a string. This is a number, a string, a string, a string, and there are other types we'll get into later, but these are the basic types that we're going to use in this lesson. Now the question mark here means that, are we forced, do we need this attribute? If I remove this, you are forced to having an academy, or else you're not allowed to create a course object. But if you put in the question mark, it means you can you can uh, avoid putting in the academy if you do not want to add it there. Let's just save this to show you. So now we have a class available. Now to use it inside our app component, we have to import it. I'll do it manually this time. I'll say import. That's the, that's the one I want to import. Just like I had an export here, I now have an import. And then what do I want to import? The name I put in here has to be the same name as the name right here. So I have to put in the name course. That's what I want to import. And then where do I want to import it from? And here I need to add the file that I want to import it from. And now it's inside the current folder. That was the dot slash for the current folder. And now the name is going to be course dot TS and the TS should not be necessary. I do a semicolon and now I've imported that one inside the course. So now I can use it. Okay. That was the first step. Now I want to do something. The next step is instead of actually, um, instead of actually here defining a specific course, I'm going to do a colon instead and say the course is going to be a list of the courses is going to be a list of the course class. Okay. So now I've been specific about what I want to import. So let me just grab all of these specific courses here that I made. And let's just clean this up. Now, right now the courses are empty. So if I go into my view right now, you'll see there's no courses here, right? It's empty. Going back to my code. So I need to define those courses when this app component is created. So I'm making what we call a constructor. That's where we can initiate code up front. And you define the constructor like this you say we have a constructor, there's nothing inside this constructor, we don't do dependency injection yet, get back to that later. But inside here, I can say courses should actually, so I have to say this to define it's in this component right here, dot courses, this courses right here, should actually be equal a new array that contains these objects that we talked about. Now notice, now I'm actually getting an actual error here. Let me just clean this up so you guys can read it. Uh, actually, you can do on the Mac, you can do command alt L to do a cleanup of your code, formatting the code. And you'll see here, 
it says right away, you're actually not allowed, allowed to create a course object anymore with an age because age is not part of a course. So I'll remove that. Okay, okay, fair enough. Let me also remove lecture just to show you. It actually gives you a new error saying you cannot define, you cannot read that maybe, but it says you cannot define a course without an actual lecture in it. Okay, so let's just get that back, the lecturer. There we go. Now it's okay again. If I scroll down, I actually get a second error down here saying time check is not part of a course either, so you have to remove that as well. And I said I didn't want, if we go back here, I actually said in my model that it was okay to not have an academy, so you are actually allowed to remove academy here. Let me just try and remove it and save again. It's okay, it is approved, but if I remove year, I'll actually get an error again, right? So I just remove the things that are actually improved. So let me undo again because I want both. And now my code is back up and running. Just zoom out again and let's see that we actually can see the courses again. And there they are, but now they are type safe. So now we added a real model to our project. And that's how models work. That's how TypeScript got its name, I guess, because it's type safe. We can go around that, we can work around that later, but this is how you define courses with a type safe course class and also how you import and export stuff. We'll dive more into that in the next lesson. See you next time.